Welcome back. Now we'll start the program in earnest and we're going to be looking at the proposed communication service tax. Hmm. Telecom subscribers may have to pay more should a private member bill titled Communication Service Tax Bill 2015 be passed into law. The bill seeks to impose a charge and collect communication service tax and will be levied on service fees payable by users of electronic communication service. That means that a tax will be paid on Your calls? voice calls, SMS, SMS. multimedia message, uh, messaging service, pay TV. data, and pay TV. Hmm. God. Nine percent. Nine percent. Are we not paying enough taxes as it is? Those who have companies, you pay company tax, you pay your income tax, value added tax, you pay value added tax, and if you are unfortunate enough to have a few dividends here and there, government also takes tax from that. So, how many taxes are you going to pay? Well. We have people today who are going to explain all that to us, and one of them is an economist <laughs> and the former president, Nigerian German business group, Mr. Joe Femi Dagmaro. Good morning. Thank you, Elena. Thank you. Good to we, have you we are expecting um, someone from the Subscribers Association of Nigeria, and we also expect Senator Ali Ndume to join us from Abuja. We, we hope that they will be able to get to us before the end of this segment. But we have um, Mr. Femi Dagmaro with us, and um, we'll begin with him. Now, um, we're paying value-added tax. We're paying personal income tax. Those who are employed are paying P-A-Y-E, mm. otherwise known as payee. Yes. And then you pay VAT. Mm. And then you pay dividends, you pay taxes <coughs> on your dividends. I mean, is this really another necessary tax on the poor, hapless Nigerian who's already been ground and crushed into the ground? Well, I don't know, let me tell you one thing. You see, you still have to expect more taxes. That's the fact. Yeah. You see, when the, when thanks, the, thanks for killing our deal. Yes, uh, we, we just have to make it clear. You know, the point is this. When we have a budget that's an expansionary budget, and you have deficits here and there. You have to take loans. You have to find a way to finance all these budgets. So now, the issue about these telecommunication tax is this. Why are we bringing up this right now? I can understand the fact that um, Nigeria needs money to do a lot of things. Uh, this is not uh, the only country that we have that. Let's, let's just take it from that point. Mm -hmm. uh, I know in other countries, they pay some of these things. You know, you pay your radio license and whatever, TV and all that, even mm. if you pay for all these telecommunications. But like you said, in Nigeria, I don't think this is the right time to bring this kind of tax right now. This is not the right time. Mm. You know, you see, it, it, it's more or less a, a social symbol, a kind of social inclusion, if you want it, telephone in Nigeria. And then when you begin to tax MMS, SMS, and all those things, um, a lot of Nigerians will not even begin to use it. The providers, we have to now begin to say, look, is it worth it for me to invest in this country again? So these are the kind of things, because they have to even set up a kind of another platform whereby they collect these taxes, and they have to pay back, remit it. Yes. But my question is this, if you tax Nigeria on everything, even if you tax them for wearing shoes or wearing uh, ghillie and whatever every weekend, mm. the people of this country want to know where the taxes go. You know, if you tell me, look, you want to tax, listen, let me give you a good example. You have um, charges at the airport. If you travel... To any, by the way, Parakot is one of the worst airports in the world. So, and you know, you, we've just spent so much money to take care of that. And we, that means we have not seen the, the, the value of the money we've spent. Mm -hmm. Now, if you pass through the uh, Murtala Mohammed International Airport, you will find yourself sweating as if you are a mad person. Yeah. And then you are paying taxes, charges on this airport tax, this tax, and all that. So now people will begin to wonder, what do they want to do with my money? And if they don't know what they want to do with this money, it's the same story. You collect this money, take it to Abuja, then you share it to, you know, to all the 36 states, and mm. then at the end of the day, nobody knows what this money is going to bring back mm. to them. But so it is not important right now. People want to see some of these actions. I think, let me tell you one thing, I don't know what the government wants to achieve with that or whoever is sponsoring that bill, but there will be more taxes to be paid. Just prepare for that. Okay, be before we go, you've asked 
what do you want to use the money for? Yes. And the Minister of Communication has said uh, infrastructure. infrastructure development. Yes. So yeah, if you say infrastructural development, enough, fantastic. Very... It's good for you to say you want to do infrastructural development. You are taking loan from AFDB. African Development Bank, you are taking loan from wherever for infrastructure. What kind of infrastructure? Is it telecommunication infrastructure mm. you want to use this for? Mm. Is it for the broadband uh, penetration in the mm. country? No, because the, uh, the, the providers, they are spending so much. We are already paying so much for internet services. And the poor thing is this, when you pay for your internet, you subscribe to a month for your internet service for a month. And if you don't have electricity to power it, then you are losing you money. You lose your money. So these are the areas you have to look into. Mm. So mm. The, the infrastructure, we have to prioritize. If you don't prioritize this issue of infrastructure, everybody is just saying infrastructural development. What infrastructural development are we talking about? So if you want to do prioritize, and these are not the time for Nigerians to begin to pay so much money while they are not getting enough. But the, good, the, the thing is this, uh, you will not blame Buhari for everything. Because the, 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 the system that was supposed to have provided a kind of leverage for some of these things, we're not there. And until we begin to see this fight about corruption has to, take, has to be taken to another level. Because now people are saying, after all, you've been collecting money. Look at the, 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 the what's it called, the Nigerian Port Authority. They charge, you know, landing charges, whatever, whatever. But the road to the, uh, uh, to the port is so bad. So when you are talking about infrastructure, people say we've been paying. If a retired custom controller can voluntarily, in court, release one billion, I mean, what a country are we talking about? Not return. Not return. return. So is he got more? Get more out of this guy, for goodness sake. And don't tell us he has just returned one billion and four million, and you've just seized the house of two billion. Get more. If a guy can say voluntarily return, then where did he get that money? Uh -huh. So the people who are importing and, and exporting. How much more does he have? Yeah, importing and exporting, they'll say, oh, this is part of my money. This guy. So yeah. people are not really having that confidence mm. in the system anymore. They, they have been cheated in a way. Yeah, Joe, but you know, this issue of taxes. I'm sure Nigerians will not mind paying if they saw what the money, uh, what the money was for. That's correct. Um, we heard some. I mean, a guest came on this program and told us how, when Fashola was governor in Lagos State, that Okada riders were asking for where the tax office was. They wanted to go and pay their taxes unprompted. They were not prompted by anybody. Right. They said because they saw what Fashola was using the money for. But Nigerians are wary. Listen to the figures that this, I mean, I, for, for want of a better word to use, these thieves mm -hmm. are taking. Mm -hmm. This governor has X billion. That one has X billion. It is taxpayers' money for mm -hmm. crying out mm -hmm. loud. It, so all the money, all the taxes that we're paying, I think they stolen. Can find it. Yes, but let me support that from what you've said. I want to find out how many of our senators and House of Rep guys that can say, listen, I worked before and I was earning 10 million monthly. Mm -hmm. How many of them? How many of the governors can say, I've been working all my years and I, well, my last salary was about 30 million dollars? Or 30 million naira monthly. So when people get there, it's not about the service to the people, it's about me, myself, and I. So it should be me, my people, and God. But people are just doing me, myself, and I, and to feed themselves. Mr. Nagro, just hold your thoughts. I think we, we have a call. Hello? Hello? Good morning. Good morning. morning. Okay, um, that's uh, Mr. Adil Wu. He's joining us in, in this discussion. On, uh, you know, we're talking about the communication tax. What's your take on this proposed bill? Oh, thank you very much. Um, the additional 9% um, communication service tax bill currently in the National Assembly, I can tell you, is um, one tax too many. Already, there are so many taxes 